Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm gonna be backing up my server. Now, I'm not just gonna be doing any old backup, I'm actually gonna be backing up the actual operating system. Now, to do that, I'm gonna be using this software called Acronis. Now, what Acronis does, it actually gets um, technically some sort of little snapshot in time of what my server is, you know, let's just say today. And if something happens later on down the road, let's just say the hard drive fails, or I decide to, you know, actually upgrade the hard drive or actually change it all completely. I could go ahead and grab that image and just basically apply it into the new hard drive. Now, Acronis is not free. You will have to pay for the actual um, software itself. Now, there is a different um, open source software out there. It's actually called uh, Clonezilla that is technically for free and you could go ahead and do the exact thing that you do in Acronis, you can actually do it with that software. Me personally, I actually like Acronis a lot better. It's way easier, uh, it's more you know user-friendly uh, at the end of the day. The requirements that you need, of course, you're gonna need either you know a thumb drive, uh, or two thumb drives, I should say. Uh, one of them is gonna be for Acronis, so this is just technically has a live CD for it. And the second one is gonna be so you could go ahead and back up the image. Now, this doesn't have to be a flash drive. It could be a hard drive, you know, you know, like an external hard drive, or even an internal one that you know you know that you could just specify a folder in there and just save the image that way. Nonetheless, let me go ahead and show you how you can back up Windows. So we are booted into Acronis. So here we're gonna go right ahead and do the backup uh, portion of it. Now, as you can actually see, you do have uh, two options. You could do my disks as well as files and folders. Um, for this tutorial, like I said, I'm gonna be doing the whole hard drive. So we're gonna go into my disks. Here you actually see every single hard drive that you have on this system. So here we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we select the correct hard drive. For me it's going to be disk 3. We're going to hit next. Here it's going to be uh, prompting us to go ahead and select a hard drive to technically put all of that data uh, into. So like I said, if you do only have one hard drive, you'll need a, what is it? You'll need a little USB uh, thumb drive or uh, external hard drive. But for here, I'm just gonna go into the solid state drive that I have. So, okay, so here we just select the uh, SSD. I already have a folder that I named backup, so we'll just put that there. And then here, we'll just name it, let's say, uh, server, well, actually, win 10, I'll just do server backup oops back up and we'll do 2023 here we'll just do okay so there we go so it's going to go ahead and create a new back ar backup archive and the backup location is specified to my solid state drive here we hit on next here the for the summary uh you just basically just go ahead and you know Double check, make sure everything is correct uh, for this. I already know everything is good. And here we could go ahead and do on proceed. Now, depending on how big of a hard drive you have, this will take some time. But for me, I believe it was only like maybe 35 gigs uh, that the operating system technically has. So it shouldn't take too long. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, do its thing. Once it's finished, I'll go ahead and be back and I'll go ahead and show you how you can technically recover uh, this uh, backup that Acronis is making. Okay, so Acronis has finally finished. So here we just go ahead and click on OK, and we're back in the main menu. Now, let's say you want to go ahead and recover this, um, you know, this operating system. So what you'll have to do is, of course, instead of going into backup, we'll do recovery. We'll do the exact same thing. Go into my disks. Alrighty, so here you can actually see that Acronis has already done a little scan on some of my um, some of my backups that I have. So none of these are technically the ones that I'm that I actually recently backed up. So what I need to do is I need to go to browse, and you'll actually do the same thing. So if you don't see uh, your actual uh, backup file, you could just go ahead and go. Let's just say you know where you have the USB thumb drive or hard drive. Of course, we're gonna hit SSD backups and there we go so we have the actual image that we captured earlier 
At this point, you can just click on OK. Here, once you already know that you're selecting the correct uh, image, let's go ahead and hit on Next. So here, we're just going to click on Recover Whole Disk and Partition. Here, it's actually going to tell you some more info. So when the backup happened and at what time. So here, we'll hit Next. Okay, so now it's telling us what we want to recover. So since we covered the, you know, rec or backed up everything, we're going to go ahead and select every single uh, option here. Then we'll hit next. Okay, so now we have to choose which disk we want to go right ahead and basically put all of that data in it. So I already know, of course, disk three would be my actual uh, disk that is the main one that actually houses Windows on it. So we'll just click on that. We'll hit next. All right, so for me, uh, I actually got this error message. Of course, it contains already, you know, some partitions and, you know, do you want to go right ahead and continue and actually delete all that? Uh, most likely for you, if you're actually recovering this, most likely, of course, the hard drive failed or you actually upgraded the hard drive to maybe, you know, something a little bit bigger. Um, so most likely you won't really see this, but for me, this is what came up. Of course, we have the summary just like before. And at this point, you could go right ahead and just hit proceed and it'll go right ahead and copy everything from your actual image that you captured earlier to now to the new hard drive. Alrighty, everybody. Well, that is the end of this video. Like always, I really do hope you enjoyed it and we will catch you on the next one.